and we are back. So today we are going to build create user page. So sit back and let's start building. So first step is that we need to go to our Firebase fields and create a new fields. First field is going to be bio. And this is a string. Then we can add profile picture. And mark this as an image path. Then we add background picture. And same thing in here. And we are ready. Let's create a new page. Go to settings menu for template. And let's use this one. Rename this and confirm. Our first step is that we remove this navigate back button. Then click on the button and duplicate it. Move this button up. Give it a bit of padding and change the name to be Upload Photo. This text field we can name as User ID. Switch this to be read only. And value will be random data. Random string. Let's put mine and max to be 14. Switch these on and confirm. We can remove this drop down and then click on the button. We are going to add single action. It will be update document. Authenticated user, user reference, and confirm. Then add all of the fields. We are going to remove the ones we don't need. So email we have already. Display name will be from variable. Widget state. Text field. Photo URL we can skip. User ID will be from widget state. Text field. Created time will be global properties. And current time. Remove this one. Bio will be from variable. Text field. And let's close this and come back later. Then go to our upload photo button. Add an action to it. Upload save media. Type will be Firebase. And close this. Then go to our image. Click value, widget state, and uploaded file URL. And I am going to delete this upload data action that was on this page already. Then click on the button. We are going to add one more action to that. This will be navigate to home page. and close. Then let's wrap this entire page in to a form validation. Then go back to your confirm button. Add a new action. Search for validate form. It seems like it didn't wrap it. Let's try it again. Click the column and wrap this into a form. Okay, now we are good. Then again, go to your button logic. 
Choose validate form to be your first action and select the form. Then select the form from the left. And this is just an example. In here, we will be putting the random string to go through a form. In this action, this is useless, but for your project, you might use it to something else. And for the bio, let's enforce the maximum amount of letters that user can use. I will be putting this to 200. Then we can go to our home page. We are going to add a new page which will be working as our profile page. This one looks good. I am going to rename this and create a page. Now first step is that we add nav bar in here. Then change this icon to be something more suitable. Then I go back to my home page and add this in as well. Then go to the settings, click nav bar and change the order so profile is on the left and go back to your profile page. Then we are going to add icon button in here. I'm going to drag this inside the stack. Move it bit above. Somewhere here is good Actually, let's move it a bit down. Then change the fill color to be transparent. And for the border color, I'm choosing gray. Then change the icon to something bit better looking. And we are all set and add action in to that icon button. So our action is going to be update document. Document will be authenticated user and user reference. Then add a new action. This will be upload save media. Type will be Firebase and make sure that you have this set up as a first action. Then for this below one, switch this to background image. Uploaded photo. And close this. Then for this image, change its value to be authenticated user and profile picture. For this text, we can use username. This can be user's email. And then we can start to delete all of this stuff. Great, switch this to your posts. And now we can go to home page. Grab a copy of this list view, go back. And paste in here inside the column. Make sure that the column is set to be scrollable. Perfect. Now open up the query. 
add a new filter. Poster must be equal to authenticated user, user reference, and confirm. And add a bit of padding. Then go to your home page. Add conditional action on the page load. Single condition. User ID is set and not empty. Confirm on the true side. Add terminate on the false side. Add navigate to create a profile. This is because if someone somehow bypasses the create profile step, they are forced back to creating their profile. And add terminate, then close this. Then we need to go to our authentication page. Click sign up button, open up the logic. Now in here, we already have username set up. Then add new action in here. This will be navigate to create profile page. Then click the first action and make sure this is turned off. Perfect. Then close this. Now we can go to our Firestore rules and once again, validate everything. Then go to Google. Take our empty profile image picture, copy the image address, and go back. Then go to your profile, click image, and paste in default value, and confirm. Now click on the background image, value will be background photo. and default value is the link. Then same thing with the create profile section. Click the image and add this as default value and confirm. Then go to your profile. Duplicate this and this will be our bio. Click on the value and click on the bio. Great. Then back to our create profile page. Click on the button and show the logic. Then we can add rest of these. Then delete this. Wait, actually no. Well, we can swap this to be our profile picture. uploaded photo and this one we can delete and the background image we can remove from here and let's close this and now we can try out our app So for first, I'm going to create a new account. Now we landed to the create profile section. Let's type in my name. Something here in bio. And let's upload a photo. Great. Then hit confirm. 
and we are in. Then here you can see my profile. I am going to swap this background image. Yes, it works also. What about a post? I'm going to type here some random stuff. Post. Go back to my profile. And yes, this works also. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please hit the like and subscribe. It helps really much knowing that these tutorials are helpful. I see you in my next video and happy building.